how to solve this super challenging in the search question. Yeah, you can try to pause video and try it out this question yourself. It's quite hard. Alright, so the first thing is I see 9 power of x, 6 power of x, and 4 power of x, and then neither this one is minus. If this is multiply or divide, this question might be slightly easier. Alright, so what I want to do is I will try to change everything into 2 and 3 because I can see 6 is basically 2 multiply 3, isn't it? So this is what I will do. This one I will say is 3 power of 2x. This one is 2 power of x multiply 3 power of x, isn't it? To get 6 power of x. And then equals to 2. This is 2 power of 2x. Okay, then I guess I slightly see something to do is a quadratic. So what I want to do now is I divide 2 power of 2x for every single one. Why I want to do like that? Because I want to make this one become constant so that it's possible to solve this way. So I divide it by 2 power of 2x for every single one. So on my right hand side here, this one is basically 2 power of 2x and 2 power of 2x. I cut already, left a 2 here. This one, I have, I have the same power, isn't it? So I think I can say this is 3 over 2 power of 2x minus, okay, this is 3 power of 2x. Okay, if 2 power of x multiply 3 power of x, right, divided by 2 power of 2x, can I say this one is 2 power of x squared? They are the same thing, right? 2 times x and x times 2, they are the same thing. So I can cancel this one. I still have 1, 2 power of x at the bottom, isn't it? So 3 power of x divided by 2 power of x. So this one will give me 3 over 2 power of x. Okay, then you should be able to see it's a quadratic. So this one, what I can do right now is I can literally um, take the 2 come out, isn't it? Because 3 over 2 power of 2x, can I say this is 3 over 2? And then the whole thing power of x and then whole thing square? It's the same thing, right? So right now, what I want to do is I want to let m become 3 over 2 power of x. Then because this one, you can see this is m square, isn't it? If I let this one, it should be m power of 2. Then here, I have m square minus m equals to 2. Then here, we have quadratic m square minus m minus 2 equals to 0. And then factorize this one. I should get m minus 2 m plus 1 equals to 0. And then this one is m equals to 2 and m equals to negative 1. Okay, this one will be rejected because later when I put 3 over 2 power of x equals to negative 1, this is impossible. So this one will be rejected. And yes, this one we can solve it. So this one I should get something like 3 over 2 power of x equals to 2. Then x will equals to, we can just use a log to solve it, isn't it? So this one you will get log base 3 over 2 and 2. Right, this one you can type in the calculator and then you will get the final answer here. This is how we solve this kind of super complicated indices question.